Robbie Williams, Love My Life. This is BBC Three Counties Radio. I'm Nana Aquin. This is The Health Show. Love a bit of Robbie. Now listen, are you somebody who loves eating fruit? So, are you somebody who loves eating fruit? I absolutely love eating fruit. I could have changed those words right there. Uh, but the question is, is eating 10 bits of fruit and veg per day excessive? They're saying that eating 10 portions of fruit and vegetable every day could significantly reduce your risk of heart disease and cancer. Now, researchers from Imperial College London analysed data from 95 studies concerning their fruit and vegetable intake, and they found that the greatest benefit came from eating 800 of grams a day. Now, Rianne, Gri Rianne Griffin eats only raw fruit and vegetable, and she joins us now. Hello, Rianne. Welcome to the show. Hiya, it's Rhiannon. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rhiannon. Yeah, sorry. I tried to get right. out there, but my me, me nose is a bit blocked. Uh, so, Rhiannon, tell us, why did, you get, why did you decide to change your diet in that way? Um, basically, I had some health issues. Um, I had a lot of heartburn, chronic bloating, uh, a lot of digestive issues. And um, I basically tried everything I could to find a way of eating that made sense. And I finally found raw vegan, which is mostly fruit um, and some vegetables as well and some seeds. And it's been two years now and I've got the most amazing health of my life. And... Everything is just going amazingly. My body finally works. <laughs> wow. And, and how, how young are you then? Because this, I'm you know, 28. 28. So you, you've done this, you've been in, doing this for a couple of years. Was it easy, the transition, and did you notice the health benefits uh, sort of gradually or immediately? Um, basically, I noticed the health benefits almost straight away. Um, it wasn't very hard going raw. Well, it kind of was the first time, but then the second time I tried it, with a lot more knowledge, and I kind of did it the right way, which is uh, including a lot of green leafy vegetables and stuff. And uh, yeah, it all just kind of clicked. Within a month, my digestion, like I, I lost about a stone in weight just wow. from my digestive tract. Wow, that's um, good, yeah. And my bloating went down straight away, straight away, and yeah, it was just amazing. And uh, as, as you were, you know, noticing these great health benefits and everything, uh, did, did you notice anything? Did it affect your teeth at all? Because obviously a lot of fruits are quite sugary and things. Did you, does it affect your teeth in a bad way? No, my teeth are absolutely amazing. Uh, very strong, very white. And yeah, I've, I've had no issues. And it turns um, it's, it's As long as you're eating like uh, white fruit yes. um, and, you know, just generally taking care of your teeth, things yeah. are kind of fine. And where do you get your calcium from then in, in, in that sort of diet? Oh, green leafy vegetables have tons of calcium. Yeah, yeah, because I, cause I often wonder, because, you know, obviously, I, I, I personally don't really think that uh, cow's milk is that great for you at all, to be honest. But, mm, um, yeah. yeah, so I'm always thinking, oh, where can I get all my calcium from? So that's actually a question not from me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are they, yeah. it, it sounds like a great idea, but are there risks involved? Because obviously um, it, it could be difficult and you might not get all the nutrients you need. Yeah, of course. I always say to people, you've got to go into this with a strong knowledge base, which is why I actually teach a course on it um, on my page, Happy on Fruit, so that people know exactly how to do it correctly, so they get all the nutrients, so they feel fantastic. Um, one of the things that people tend to do is they don't know how to get good fruit, they don't know what to eat, how much to eat, um, and they kind of... they try raw because they think oh this sounds amazing and then they do it wrong and then they feel awful and they think oh raw doesn't work um so i want to kind of help people to get that strong foundation of knowledge so they can do it right and feel ha as amazing as i do right now and the, so, it, so it is actually a process so can you very briefly uh, yeah. just go give us a rundown of the process of going into this kind of diet um well what i like to get people to do first is uh, to go vegan um, and actually learn about kind of the ethics behind it because I think that just gives you a strong moral base um, and it'll, then I kind of get people to get off processed foods and things like that because when, once you're kind of off the chemicals and the, the very fat and sugary combinations, um, you're actually able to appreciate the taste of real food again and it makes everything just taste a lot better and once you're off of those kind of chemical additive, um, addictive kind of 
things, you can actually transition a lot easier without harsh cravings. Now the um, government, now the government have said that eat uh, ten pieces of fruit and veg a day. Does that research come as any surprise to you at all? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. It's just sort of like. I'm surprised it's news, actually. Yeah, well, to be <laughs> fair. Fruit and vegetables is extremely healthy. Like, we all know that. We Like, deep down in our bodies, we look at fruit and vegetables and we know that they're healthy. Um, the only reason why people start to doubt that they're healthy is because of these external sources saying, oh, what about moderation and what about the sugars? And it's, But deep down, we all know fruit and vegetables is so healthy. Like, when you see, if you saw a huge table full of fruits and vegetables, your instinct is saying, wow, look at the health, the vibrancy, mm. you know? Your body knows. And do you think it's, it's going to be difficult for people to get 10 pieces? Um, well, I don't think it is. I think what would be helpful is actually if people start to... If, like, even the government starts to do things to help people get better fruit, to give them recipes for fresh, raw fruit and vegetables, you know? If people... If you, if you come onto my page, Happy on Fruit, you can see some of the amazing things I do with fruits and vegetables, you know? I create um, savoury dinners out of just raw fruits and vegetables. And these are things that my eat, meat-eating friends look at and say, wow, do you know what? That looks delicious, you know? Yeah. And, like, puddings, and I make cakes for my best... For my daughter's yeah. birthday, I made like a raw carrot cake just out of fruit and vegetables. Oh, and it has like raw, raw carrot in it, mulberries, dates, fresh ginger, fresh turmeric. And she loved it. And this Amazing. was like, there was so much goodness in this cake. It was just, you know, you can do amazing things. And I think that's what the public needs. It doesn't need to be told, oh, this is unachievable and you can't do it. It's to be actually shown how amazing good fruit and vegetables are, you thank know, and all the amazing things you can do with them. Wonderful. Well, listen, Rhiannon, thank you so much for your contribution and keep up the good work. I'll send, make sure that people go to uh, your page and check out all the different things you can do with those uh, 10 bits of fruit and veg. Uh, so that's Rhiannon's uh, approach. But what do you think? Is eating 10 bits of fruit and veg per day excessive? I mean, we all know that fruit is good for us and vegetables are good for us. But is it actually quite difficult to get hold of all those fruit and veg? Give me a call now on 03 459 455 555. Text 813 double three start your message with 3cr or tweet at bbc3cr still to come we'll be speaking to sue hampton